In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using final, stack, final state method. So this is the third example. So we need to design a PDA for the given language. So basically this language says that for every, for every single A, uh, two Bs should exist. For every single A, two Bs should exist. So in this case, whenever we encounter A, we should push to capital A's and whenever we encounter uh, B, we should pop each A. <clears throat> so with this basic understanding, we'll uh, dive into solving the question. So our first step is to assume a string which would fall under this, which would obey this language condition that is, let me take a square b4. So it would be a, a, b, b, b and b. So for this language, I'll consider, uh, I'll, I'll construct, a, I'll, I'll, I'll take a stack and see. So on q0, the stack was empty. Yes. And when I, when I have input a, Whenever the input is A, I should push two capital A's. Yes. Again, I encountered again one more A. So I should push again two A's. Next, here yeah, there's nothing. So there's uh, alphabet is being changed from A to B, right? So I'll put lambda here. I'll assume it uh, lambda to be here. So it'll be A, A lambda. So when A, A lambda is there, when lambda is being uh, read as input, whatever is there on top of stack would be retained as it is. But here there would be a transition from Q0 to the next state that is Q1. My next step A, A is done. Now I have B here. So for uh, every B, you should pop each A. Popping each A refers to in place of A, replace it by lambda. So when first B is encountered, I'll replace this topmost A by lambda. Yes. Again, I have A, A, B and again B is red. So again, lambda, lambda, A, A, S. Now again, third uh, B is being read as input. So lambda, 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 A and S. Next, I have A, A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 Bs. So lambda, 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 S. Finally, I have written the word, I have read all the contents of the word, all the contents of the string, followed by a lambda at the end. So whenever a lambda is encountered at the end, firstly change the state from Q1 to Q2. And S on lambda, I would uh, have S itself. That is the stack is empty. Now that I have obtained the, uh, the, I have shown the sequence of moves, I will write the transition diagram now. So considering Q0 as the start state, Q1 I have and Q2 being the final state. So here, firstly the condition is uh, for N, it could be 0 or greater than 0. When n is 0, we get l is equal to lambda, right? So, we can directly write a transition that is initially on top of stack we had lambda s. When lambda was read, the, the contents were the same. That is, the stack was yet empty, but it changed from q0 to q2. Now, let me see from q0. Now, let me start from q0. On top of stack, I had s. A was read as an input and uh, the elements on top of stack here are A, A. Next, the topmost here I have encountered A. Over the input A, I would get A, A itself. So, yeah, I would get A, A itself. Next, I have lambda here. So, A, when lambda is encountered, it would be retained as A itself, but then change state from Q0 to Q1. And here now, on top of stack I had A. When first B was read, 
change it to lambda again a is there b is red uh, on top of stack it's changed to lambda and here s was there and lambda was there uh, red as input and further on top of stack the remaining contents were s itself so here i have uh, defined the transition diagram i have drawn the transition diagram let me write the transition functions of the transition diagram so here i have q not s a and a a q not a a and a a q not this one a lambda and a and q not s lambda and s this the above one then in q1 i have a b lambda and on uh, again on q1 i have s lambda and s writing the transition functions so firstly i should write the state in whichever it is followed by what is on top of stack and what is the input string should be equal to either it could be in the same state or the state could change we need to determine this on the basis of transition diagram and then whatever is remaining on top of stack should be in the stack should be written, written here so delta uh, transition function of q0 here also q0 here also q0 q0 here q1 here q1 top of stack i have s and input string is a here top of stack i have a and a here i have a and lambda here i have s and lambda here i have a and b here i have s and lambda so okay, s a a a s a a a it is in the same state so i'll write q not and whatever is remaining on the stack i have a a here so let me write a a here coming to this a a and a a it is in the same state and i'll get a a itself here a lambda a it's changing to q1 state i'll write q1 here and then on top of stack i have a here so let me write a here here s lambda s it is changing to q2 state s lambda s is changing to q2 state and on top of stack i have uh, the remaining contents are s q1 a b lambda i have it's in the same state uh, q1 only and uh, remaining contents in the stack are lambda so here s lambda s it is changing state from q1 to q2 and remaining contents on stack is s so now i am done with the transition function my last step would be to define the pda so i know that pda p is equal to q sigma tau q not z not f and transition function transition function i have defined already q here uh, the states which are included are q1 q not q1 q2 yes sigma sigma could comprise of a's and b's yes tau the states which are uh, being uh, used in the stack here are s and a q not being the start state it is q not only z not being in the stack initially i have s so s f being the final state i have q2 and this is defined here so i hope you have understood how to design the uh, pda for given grammar if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you